Today we will look at file operations. You can find the file operations under the file command action. The commands will include the following. Copy, moving, renaming and deleting a file or a list of folders. Deleting a list of files. Creating a folder. Clean a folder. Delete a folder. Zip and unzip a file. As with other actions, you may choose to use configured parameters when setting up the action commands. Let's get started. I'm going to add an action. The file command is under external. I will then select create a folder. Give the folder a name. Select the parent folder by either using a parameter or order direct path. If the folder already exists, you can decide to do nothing. Apply and run. Next we're going to move a file. Add an action and just type in file command. We're going to click on move. Select the file that you want to move. And select the destination. And apply and run. You will see the file in the working folder that I've just moved. The next step is to unzip the file. I'm just going to copy the action and paste the action. Change the command to unzip. Select the file to unzip. And select the directory. Let's clone the file. I'm going to copy the action and paste the action. Change that command to clone. Select the file you want to clone. Provide a new name for it. Apply and run. Next, we're going to rename the file. But I'm going to use rename a list of files. All the commands that we use up to now was for a single file, but you can apply it to multiple files as well. First step is to get a list of the files. Let's add an action. Go to create and drag your list of files into the canvas. Let's select the folder. Select apply and run. Next we want to filter out and rename our file that's got a XLSM extension. We use the filter command. I will add a calculated column to enter the new name. Name your file. Apply. Now we've specified the new name. Next, we're going to copy our command and change the command to rename a list of files. Select the file path and it's a file name with full path. Select the new name and override it if it exists. Apply and run. Next, I want to demonstrate how to zip a folder. Let's go to our previous action, copy the action and paste action. Let's change the command to zip a folder. Select the folder that you want to zip. Then select the destination where you want to zip it to and the folder name. I will zip the working folder to source and the file name will be working folder zip. If I look at my source, you will find the working folder zip under source folder. For the last part of the demo, I will show you the difference between clean a folder and delete folder as well as the different options available under clean a folder. I've added some parameters that I will be using in executing the different actions. So we'll start off with Copy of action, paste the action, and change the action to clean a folder. 
we will select the parameter of clean subfolders do nothing. Just before I do that, I'll just quickly show you. I've got a file here with a subfolder and I've got another subfolder with files underneath that. So let's look at what happens if we run do nothing. If I run do nothing, you will see the top files being deleted in the folder, but all the other files are still available in the subfolders. I'm going to copy the last action and paste it again and change them. I'm going to select the second parameters where I'm going to clean recursively and select the subfolders clean recursively and this is on 7.2 and apply and run it. Under 7.2 all the files were deleted including files in the subfolder. So let's look at the third example. I'm going to copy the action and paste it. I'm going to change it to clean subfolder delete. So I'll select delete and hit apply and run action. So you will see all the subfolders are deleted under 7.3. However, the top folder remains. Lastly, I'm going to copy the action and paste the action. I'm going to change the command to delete a folder. I'm going to use the parameter and use the first parameter. And if the folder doesn't exist, I'm going to say do nothing. I'm going to hit apply and run it. And you will see that the folder 7.1 disappeared. So just to summarize, if you use cleaner folder with the subfolder do nothing, then it would delete all the files in the top folder only. If you use cleaner folder with the subfolder clean recursively, it will delete all the files in the top folder and the subsequent subfolders. If you use the subfolder delete, it will delete all the subfolders and all the files the top folder will remain, however. If you use the action delete folder, it will delete all folders and subfolders. That concludes file operations.